Every time we want to hear volume, we hear sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for every time, sir. Yes, sir. Hold up, hold up, hold up. For the next 72 hours, I'm checking in as a cadet. Are you kidding me? At the Pennsylvania State Trooper Academy. You need to get with the program. Do you understand? Sir, yes, sir. I'm going to experience three days of what a cadet goes through during this 26 week curriculum. Welcome to episode three. My last day at the academy was filled with defensive driving, horse detail, and the training tape. I'm really glad y'all my YouTube family have really enjoyed this series. I put a lot of work into it and it's good to see that you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed already, it would mean a lot to me. I'm trying to reach my goal of a million subscribers. If you've seen my previous videos, you'd know that I like to swim. And it's easy in a pool because it's calm. The training tank was not calm. There were 30 other cadets swimming beside me, getting kicked in the face, swimming into people, getting splashed. And I can't say the training tank was super physically hard, but if your water confidence is not really good, this is gonna suck for you. So what are we here to do this morning? We're at the canine kennel. Basically here, when troopers house their dogs here, we take care of them, we clean their runs, we feed them. Just make sure they're all right. Got taste of the wild here. Does it really taste like the wild? I have not tried it yet. One day maybe. There's only one way to find out. Tastes like the wild. Wow. Yeah. Go pee. Good boy. Full name is Cole Rodriguez. Uh, I'm from Palmerton, Pennsylvania. That's me in the morning. I, I pee outside. Been at the academy for 14 weeks now. Going on 15. What did you go to college for? <laughs> Accounting. I'm accounting. Accounting. Owner. Yeah. Well, you picked a very, very long yeah. curriculum to go through. Half of a year, 26 weeks. I have no prior law enforcement background. I actually have a degree in accounting. <laughs> Overall impression of the academy is it's pretty tough. They like to put us in stressful situations. Graduation can't come soon enough. Not too bad. Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Thanks, thanks for coming for down. Me, uh, yep. Thanks for coming down. Best of luck throughout the rest of your journey in the Trooper Academy. Thank you very much. All right, Austin, welcome to the historical uh, museum here at the Pennsylvania State Police Academy. In this museum, we capture a lot of the history of the Pennsylvania State Police from our exception in 1905 uh, through current day. During the 26-week academy, you will learn traffic, criminal law, rules of criminal procedure, driving, range instruction, and physical fitness. So a lot of our weapons, these are going to take you back uh, to our earliest uh, rifles up to our modern day what year is this uniform from? Uh, this uniform is from 1943 to 1947. I was just testing him. Oh. He's, he knows his stuff. Our hiring process consists of an application, which you can complete on our website, which is www.patrooper.com. After that, you will be taking the written exam, the polygraph, the background investigation, physical readiness test, medical evaluation, and the psychological evaluation. Curry comb, brush. Perfect, let's go groom some horses. Give me that thing. Excuse me? All right, can you scoot over? I forget they don't know English. What language do they speak? I can't say I'm a fan of horseback riding. And right? a little left rein. So he'll turn on his own. Now I love horses and I love the animals, but I'm not as experienced, so I'm not in full control of the horse. Pull back, pull back, pull back. There you go. That horse took off on me. Having me three times, and I know it was because I was not holding the reins low enough, and when I leaned back, I would grab with my feet, which signaled to the horse to go faster. It doesn't look nearly as fast as it felt when I was on the back because it felt like he was a bolt of lightning, like, whew, straight through the pasture. I'm 240 pounds, I'm just on the back of this horse, and I knew if I fell, it was gonna hurt, but the instructors just instructed me to stay on, everything was completely fine, and by the end of the day, I felt like I had learned a lot more than what I had originally known. I was just trying to understand what to do on a horse, because like I said, third time on a horse, I'm not that skilled at 
horse riding. I learned a lot of stuff today and hopefully, you know, next time I hop on a horse, I will have a little bit more knowledge on how to ride one. Alexander, good morning. Good morning, sir. So the, this morning, we're actually going to talk about pursuit termination techniques in regards to the training we do here at the Driver Training Center of Pennsylvania State Police. First part of the defensive driving course was a series of traffic cones and basic vehicle maneuverability. Just really basic stuff. But the fun began when we got to pit a car. My hand position's at nine and three. Okay. The biggest thing I got to get comfortable with is making this connection. Okay. And you'll feel it in your wheel. So again, it might be a little nervous, but you'll feel the connection. When I got it. So right now I'm on it. You see his wheels turn and, uh -huh. and I might slide off. So I come up again. So this is the pit pad. This one I'll tell you to be clear hot. Okay, I will match the speed. I'll match the speed. I just glide over. Turn the right. Speed. Defensive driving. Such a weird feeling because all my life I've been taught not to hit cars on the road and there I was pitting a car or fishtailing a car on the road. We'll match the speed again. Once we get the connection, we'll stay on it. And then we'll Super weird feeling because you're going about 50 beside that car and when you're beside the car, it feels like you're going about 80. Upon making the contact with the car, you can feel the whole car shake and you get jarred a little bit. Right? Match the speed, glide over. Up there, go ahead and pit. That's it, man. Not Good too job. bad at it's all. Not it's not hard, right? It's fun because yeah. I've, I've never done that on the road before. Yeah. <laughs> it's exhilarating. So 26 weeks wrapped up in the three days. Kind of give you a little yes, glimpse sir. of what we do here at the Pennsylvania State Police Academy. Yes, how, how do you think you did? The PT beat me up. I wasn't ready for that physically. Mentally, I'm still here. The pool session was a lot of fun. The run and the calisthenics were not fun. I got destroyed. So obviously the most painful part of your three-day experience here, I would I would assume that it's probably the taser, I would guess. Physically painful, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, mentally painful was when I was getting yelled at by the uh, room inspector troopers. One of the reasons I love the academy is the people in there reminded me of the friends I had made in the Navy. and. That's one of the strongest bonds that I have ever made, you know, with friends that were in the military. I just want to thank you guys so much for letting me come in, for being so welcoming, all the instructors, all the state troopers. You know, nowadays in the media, law enforcement, military, we're not portrayed in a positive light. And as a military guy myself, I see this from both ends. And now as a, a producer and a creator, I feel like it's my duty to portray you guys in a positive light, like it should be portrayed. And Clark, thanks for the, the room inspection tips yesterday. Where's Wilson at? She helped me clean the, uh, there she is. Helped me clean the stables yesterday and Rodriguez, I believe. Yeah, there you are. Thanks for uh, helping me clean the kennels this morning. Huge shout out to the, all the instructors here and all the troopers that put me through. What a cadet actually goes through is a huge, huge blessing to me and I want to thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoy the series if you like series like this please let me know so I can create more of them see you guys next time Austin Alexander signing out